Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi I'm Akanksha. So in this video, you've read the title already. I'm going to show you my updated makeup base routine and also like how to achieve the most natural looking base and the most cakeless base. I've been doing makeup for three years now, and there is like a drastic scale difference of how my makeup used to look like when I started out versus now. I'm also learning every day, improving my skills, doing better makeup. So I thought I'll do. An updated routine and this is perfect for the summer also or anywhere you go uh, I've been loving to do this technique lately because I feel like it's just giving me a beautiful base for my skin so let's get started yeah. it's been so long that I actually sat down and filmed a makeup video I mean I missed it so much I'm so happy it just feels like Wow, I'm back to what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm starting off uh, with primer. Now one thing I've always told, of course, is to prep your skin. Base, 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 base is important. And for a good base, a good primer, or at least a great moisturizer always, always comes in handy. And lately I've just been uh, using primers which I hydrate my skin a lot more because lately I've been kind of having like dry patches here and uh, there. So I just want to hydrate it overall. And um, this is one I've just been trying uh, lately and I think it's a good one. It's a very expensive one. You don't have to spend so much you have great uh, inexpensive hydrating primers as well or your moisturizer will do a great job too but I have the this is the Too Faced plump and prime primer I'm just going to take like a few pumps of this one and I'm just going to apply right here especially under the eye is where I act a lot more okay the next step I'm going to start off with contouring now this is again not a new thing I did show you guys how I do my full glam with reverse contouring but this is something a little more natural I'm doing lately again with like the same reverse contouring method but like switched up products here and there to give like more natural look so this uh, basically is the Mars uh, contour cover color concealer palette it has a lot of different shades I just want to use these two for bronzing and contouring going in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm going to dip into this. First, I warm it up on the back of my hand so that I know the color, how much it's paying off. Dun, dun, dun. Now, I first go ahead and then add it wherever I need. My cheekbones, right? I, I do it right on top of my cheekbones and my forehead. Now the point is that you're not supposed to blend this completely so that's the reason I'm kind of just dabbing it on and leaving it I'm not blending it inside I'm just going to see you can see it's supposed to be looking like this you'll know why soon and then my jawline and finally my nose now the more creamier the contour the better finish you get and next I go in with concealer and for concealer I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer I'm in the shade Cookie. First I take the concealer which is very close to my skin tone. Now the products don't have to be similar it's just about the techniques that I'm explaining and about how to achieve this look. So I'm going to take this, this is the shade Cookie and it's kind of very close maybe like one shade light max from my skin and I'm just going to highlight the under eye now I'm just going to take again a real techniques brush this is the RT 200 and I'm again going I'm just I've just been a brushes girl I've, it's been so long that I used like a beauty blender you guys I mean it does beauty blender is great because it just like one thing does so many duties Can you see how beautifully that blended out I actually really like this concealer I just did two steps and this is how my face look and honestly at this point if you if you don't have these blemishes or any pigmentation that you want to cover you can really just kind of blend this out a little more smoothly add a little powder blush and you'll be good to go uh, but of course I do want to like minimize all the pigmentation which is appearing basically my acne spots so I am going to add something but I'm not adding foundation lately I've just not been um, you know using like full coverage uh, or like medium coverage also for that matter in foundations I've been really into tints and I actually really uh, recently start, tried this 
this one and I've just been using this one lately. This is the, this is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer. For brush, it's important you use a brush like this, which is dense, but which is also like a kabuki brush basically, because that way I feel like this um, tint or anything generally for this method, it works well if the, if the brush is like this. And this tint is great. Like it just is so light. Can you see? It, it's so lightweight but it just like kind of blends and blurs everything out so you can see i'm only doing it in this area right here i have concealer here i have a contour and but this is the area i have nothing so i start building it from right here because this is the area where i need like the most uh, product and then i can just start blending it into the other area so that i get like a softer uh, look the point basically is that you are just adding product wherever it's necessary only So let's say if I've done like foundation first then I have to after foundation on top of it I have to do uh, Contour on top of it again concealer and blush this way I'm just like adding wherever it is necessary only and then kind of blending everything out and softening it So there's literally just like one layer everywhere and everything just comes together and makes your skin look a lot more natural basically your makeup looks look a lot, lot more natural now right now you can literally just see everything just looks so pretty I can just take whatever excess is in the brush and I kind of go over my forehead and blend it into the contour as well so now what you're doing is just like softening up the edges and see this is the finished look like the contour is there everything is there concealer is there tint is there but like it looks super natural like you can see this versus this is just like pretty right one thing about this uh, particular tint is that it does give a very dewy finish so if you have extremely oily skin you might want to like you know try another one a little more mattifying one because this can make you look a little dewy and throughout the day it does get a you know tend to make you a little oily as well kind of keep powdering my uh, face throughout whenever i'm using this one because i really like the finish of it and uh, it just works only when I'm like outdoors and all when I start sweating it kind of uh, like you know it gets a little shiny otherwise it does a pretty great job so yeah see right here again blending it now you can see there's a little patch right here which is not looking good so I just go in back with the same brush that's the perk of using brushes um, you, you can just keep it down and then go in back with it and whatever is left on it you kind of can you know blend it out see right now I didn't pick up any product after that that with the same thing I'm just kind of softening out right now I can go over with this also and kind of you know blend it out on the nose etc finally again I go in with like the foundation or the tint brush and again soften everything up tada see how pretty like the base looks i feel like it looks very um you know beautiful like it has a lot of structure everything is like blurred out evened out but it's still very lightweight and looks like beautiful nothing heavy nothing cakey obviously now i cannot do this if i have like really intense pigmentation or like acne spots like if i had the skin i had like one two years ago when i was suffering severely with acne i probably would not do this and i used to get jealous about the of people who could like pull this off with their uh, skin but like I do have another uh, technique of how you can do this with some other tips I'll link it right here how you can do that but for me right now for my skin this is working I just want to say that just want to give that disclaimer make sure you just keep dabbing all the products once it's in not like just swipe everything in place because it can lift the products up and you're just doing like single single layers so once it lift, lifts that area it might end up making your makeup look a little patchy i have a little sore throat you guys so if i'm uh, talking in a little breaks then <coughs> understand it is because of that so next for blush i'm going in with cream blush and i again took it on the back of my hand i'm just i love warming cream products up on my hand first just because um, it's easier to work with so again i'm just going to apply it right here i i love using cream blushes i just feel like they give a much more long lasting plus a much more natural uh finish so i'm just taking this again a real techniques brush this is 206 you oh my god i absolutely love brush like every time i do my makeup the only step i really really like 
wait for this blush because without it i just feel so incomplete can you see how much like that added to my face just everything looks so big make sure you take your time to like blend everything off and make sure there are like no harsh edges or anything you can again go in with your foundation brush if you want and keep like dabbing again to soften all the things and bring everything together i love it i've just been doing this lately now at this point if this i'm trying to keep this a natural look then i just leave it as is but if i'm trying to go a little glam and i want to like you know look a little extra then i do go in with another concealer like this this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear concealer sorry this is the infallible full wear uh, concealer and i just go ahead and take a tiny bit of it right here like not a lot it's a very full coverage one and it's like two three shades lighter than my skin tone so i just want to highlight it but not overdo so just a tiny bit then i go in with a chotu sa brush and only do that in the inner corner see that little bit does so much just to highlight that part I'll always concentrate the product first on the area you need the most and then you can blend out the edges now moving on to powder and it is the most important step because it that's the only thing which is going to keep this entire thing locked throughout the day so for powder i've just been a lot into compacts lately compared to loose powder it's at least especially for the under eye area because i feel like no matter what loose powder it ends up giving you a lot of flashback and the compacts just like give a beautiful finish that way and again make sure you're not using some heavy thick one i love this uh, k beauty one which is like really lightweight and luxury i love the charlotte tilbury uh one as well so this i'm going and i'm using the shade 120p because it is a little pigmented so i don't want the under eye to be like darkened so i'm kind of going in with the lighter shade i'm going to set it but first of all make sure that there are no creases under the eye just taking that again warming it on my palm and just a tiny bit can you see how much difference that makes just like everything is softened or up and everything is set nothing is too much same thing on the other side now i do go in with the compact only for the entire face also unless like it's too pigmented and like it might change the color of my foundation but at this point you can use a loose powder to set the rest of the face but again don't go very heavy handed only use a lot on in like you know your t zone area if you do get oily a lot but not like you know i i, I don't bake anymore that's like something if you do then you can stop doing that because i feel like <clears throat> it just adds too much dryness to your face for some reason and it's just not not working for my skin anymore like it used to before now i know it does look like very bronzy contoury but i love that look so i did add like a lot of like the contour product but if you somebody you but if you're somebody who doesn't like that look then you can definitely use like really minimal amount just for it to be seen like the slightest bit or you can just skip that completely go in with concealer powder and blush maybe if that's your vibe it just is the look i actually really like so i just kind of use this and it looks really good according to me next again i do set the creams with powders as well so for bronzer i'm going in with the hula bronzer but i don't take a lot of product not as much as i would if you, if i do not have any cream because i do already have cream i just need to like slightly apply this it's just my satisfaction i honestly really can skip this step but i just do it because it's such a habit now and i feel like it's like double double assurance <coughs> my throat is like killing me for blush i'm going in with this k beauty sugar candy and again i do these powders also only when i want to do that full glam kind of thing but i'm going for the natural just like chill back no makeup makeup vibe kind of thing then i don't do powders i keep it as minimal as uh, possible but now that i'm showing you guys i'm going i'm showing you like everything i do to kind of get the natural base again i'm going in back with that powder i used for my compact just to soften out the blush edges 
it's all about blending you guys like even for your base not just for your eyes you know and yeah that's about it for the base guys i just have one more step which is highlighter which i will show you guys but i just want to finish the rest of the face and i'll be right back Okay, you've seen me do this look a million times. That's the reason I did not show you guys. Now moving on to highlighter, but before highlighter, I go in with setting spray. And for setting spray, I'm using the Laurel Infallible Pro Spray and Set. Now I would ideally use setting spray before I do mascara, but today just a little different turn of events. Going in with my all-time favorite, the Balm Cosmetics highlighter. This is. In such bad condition but I've just been using it for years now and I really like this one so I'm going in with a tiny uh, brush this is the tan beauty number uh, three brush and I'm just going to pick up the product just take a little bit of it on one side again kind of dab off the excess warm the product I've just not been into highlighters a lot lately because you can see my skin by itself also kind of naturally has that uh, globe and if I add like an external highlighter I feel like it adds a lot more texture than how it is now so I just take a little bit and I'm just going to demonstrate to you if you want to add how to add so you can see this is the high point of my cheeks I'm just going to dab a little bit right there take off the excess and just push that in and blend it out very little but adds a lot Then after highlighter, I go in with my blush brush. I don't take it any more product, but I just kind of go on top of that highlighter with this brush so that the bl blush and the highlighter kind of blended and they don't look again like two different lines. And tada! So yeah guys, this is the finished look. I hope it is useful. Now this has been my go-to makeup look since a while but the techniques and how I do it have changed and I thought I'll show you guys. I really love my base. Now I love when it's like more bronzy. I know I look like a little darker than my face but I think it just looks uh, nice overall. On camera, it does like look a lot different, but in, in person, it's not that much. So again, I told you, you can play around with the bronzing, blush, etc. as like you like, but this is the way I like. This video shout out goes to Vaishnavi Tamineni. Thank you, Vaishnavi, for always loving and supporting. It absolutely means the world to me. And if you guys want to be part of next video shout out, then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS, you guys, and you can be a part. I love it when you guys comment and use the hashtag. It just like makes me feel so nice but yeah that's about it also leave in the comments more like makeup videos or any like videos you want to watch I would definitely love to do for uh, you guys now I am set up in the new house so I am getting back to filming and I really want to be more consistent that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys in my next one bye